the voice of the blockchain here, Satoshi's big cousin, cryptography's finest, Champagne Crypto. Thanks for tuning in. Guys, today I want to talk about how to set up a D live stream, D live decentralized live streaming on the Steam blockchain. But first, let me shout out all my champagne crypto maniacs out there, the blockchain bros and crypto chicks who are tuning in worldwide, all the Steamosauruses who are kabooming the upvote button out there, powering up on the Steam blockchain. Today, I want to talk about how to set up a live stream on D live. Guys, once you log into D live through your Steam Connect, uh, you can click on Go live and you'll be taken to this page right here it says that you need to set up an encoding software right now obs is the most popular free and open source software for broadcast streaming in the first beta version of d live obs is the only encoder that they're going to be supporting so once you go to obs the obsproject.com you could download this free software so that you can live stream on d live Okay, going back to this page right here, setting up the encoding software. Okay, uh, you'll see you'll have the first thing it tells you to upload the image. Okay, so the first thing I'll do is go ahead and upload my image. Kaboom. D live stream test. Kaboom. And then I'll put my title in. D live stream test. You'll see that this gives you the encoder on authentic, authentic, <laughs> the, uh, the uh, encoder is a tongue twister, the encoder authentication link, the server URL, the stream, stream name. <laughs> uh, all right, let's try this again. The encoder authentication, the server URL, the stream name slash key, the username and the password. So what you do is you go to the OBS software and uh, you have to set up your source to be the display or your camera. Right now, in my case, the source is the display. Uh, I turned on the mixer to have my mic plugged in. Uh, you can also have it on your uh, mic on your computer. And then you can also have turned on the desktop audio. Uh, you go over here to settings and click streaming. And this is where you can input the uh, information. So you go to stream type custom stream server. And then you can go ahead and copy and paste all this information into your encoder, which I'm doing right now before I hit them up live stream key. Kaboom. There you go. Use authentication. Yes. And then it'll give me my client name. I may have to uh, blur this out. I don't know if this is supposedly uh, private or not. And there you go. And then the password. And that's it. So then I'll be able to say, um, okay. And then I can just go ahead and start streaming, I believe. I'll hit next. Okay, I had to I have to uh, hit the description. So testing out D live for the first time. Kaboom! That upvote. Okay, new tag. You can have up to three tags. So I'll be I'll put a D live. Steam and I'll put crypto maniac crypto maniac boom all right choose language English no age restrictions and um, let's see let's go ahead and uh, try to this is going to be my video URL Okay, and then I'll hit next. Oh, choose a category. All right. Learning, because we're testing it out. Hit next. 
one step away from live. Okay, so um, I'm gonna go ahead and check D live stream test, testing out D live for the first time. Kaboom that upvote, uh, rewards 50 50, and then I'll go ahead and, and post this. Hit post. I'm still offline, I guess. So I'll start starting the live stream. I like that it has a little chat box here. This should have a pop up or a pop out on the top chat box here. Don't forget to click to click start streaming in the OBS start live stream. Okay, so then what we're going to do is click start streaming, connecting, and that should be it. We should be live. 